universe is something that uh, it's already here we cannot do an experiment to generate it so the only thing we can do is to look at the sky look at patterns for uh, the for example the distribution of galaxies and try to trace it back in the past and understand which processes might have happened in the early stage of the life of the universe which might have generated these patterns that we observe when I started my, my studies in physics, that was the very same object, object that I learned, amplitude. You have to calculate an amplitude in such a way that you will get a probability. These two things are completely related. But on the one side, amplitudes are just mathematical objects, but the probability are related to what we see. In the past, the universe Un underwent a phase of uh, accelerated expansion which is called uh, inflation and in this phase uh, the rules of the game are uh, given by quantum mechanics so the wave function of the universe is a mathematical object which allows us to talk about uh, that particular phase and then connect it with the pattern that we observe today our uh, paper provides uh, um, further studies in uh, a, having a single description of both objects at a time. So you can describe with a new mathematical language this, the, the wave function and having a precise way of talking about uh, the, um, the scattering amplitude as well. Well, the results of our papers therefore correspond to, a, to the milestone in this in, in provide a new way of calculating because we want to try to provide a systematic way of evaluating these scattering amplitudes. We don't want to rely on first principles. We want to use novel ideas in such a way that the evaluation time in different in the, in the calculation of different observables, either in the classical or quantum limit, limit could be performed much easily. And this is our main interest in this. The general question that uh, always I was asking was um, to try to understand uh, why the world we see is the way we see it, not just uh, describing it. Every time that you want to go deeper in understanding, you find something new. And now that, that thanks to this work that uh, uh, Paolo and myself carry out, we under, I managed to understand so many, th so many things that really fascinated me. In particular, we noticed that the scattering amplitudes can be modulated from a geometrical perspective. And that was something that, um, from recent words, I'm getting impressed and impressed. And this is what really is motivating me to go farther in this understanding.